Excuse me, excuse me. Do you know why we pulled you over today? Do you know why? Exactly. It's because you're not subscribed to the channel. So you either fix that right now, or we're gonna have to take you in. You are tuned in to the only Apple news show on YouTube with Dark Mode. Let's get it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the First Click Show here on First Clicks. And because we are feeling good today, this is going to be the second episode for today. Talking about the M1X iMac, larger iMac, whatever you want to call it, and the M1X MacBook Pro. So for now, let's just click straight into this one because there is a lot to talk about. Some quick fire coming in from Apple Track. The first story of today, obviously coming from Apple Track. Uh, I feel like it's a combination between Luke Mignani and uh, Sam from iUpdate. Now these are multiple articles with some tidbits and exclusives on the new M1X MacBook Pro that is set to be released somewhere later this year. Exclusive. Upcoming MacBook Pros will feature backlit Touch ID button. Apple's upcoming MacBook Pro redesign will include an upgraded Touch ID sensor, according to new information obtained by Apple Track. According to the new information we have reviewed, the upcoming MacBook Pro series will feature a revamped Touch ID button that is backlit by multiple dedicated LEDs. Interestingly, the Touch ID backlight is notably separate from the rest of the keyboard, suggesting that there may be unknown additional functionality tied to this key. Now I'm not completely sure but maybe it's going to be something like uh, the HomePod for example that from the moment it is actually active it will light up a little bit so you know uh, it's requesting you to touch it with your finger. It could also be something like the touch bar where it just changed into whatever uh, you're trying to verify it for right if you're doing it for a payment it will have a little bit of a uh, I don't know, Apple Pay sign. If you're doing it to unlock your Mac in the first place, it will be a small lock, right? I don't know, they can like invent loads of things. It suggests that something else might be happening with this Touch ID sensor, and I can't wait to find out. And then we got another exclusive coming in from Apple Track. Upcoming MacBook Pros to feature upgraded UHS 2 SD card slot. MacBook Pros since 2016 have shipped with just USB Type-C ports, but the new generation is expected to bring HDMI, SD card and MagSafe functionality back. UHS 2 offers faster read speeds up to 312 MB per second, compared to about 100 MB per second on standard SD the card slot. The only other Macs that ship with UHS Type 2 technology was the new discontinued iMac Pro and the 27 inch iMac refreshed in August 2020. Now for content creators that use SD card slots obviously maybe they already have an iMac Pro or the iMac from 2020 but I feel like loads of creators that use their MacBook Pros are going to be delighted by this news. And then for our second story today we got 9to5Mac exploring the leaks from Dylan DKT. Obviously we talked about Dylan and DKT a lot because, uh, well, he is quite reliable, uh, at least according to Apple Track. 81.3% accurate. Leaker claims all future Macs will feature a 1080p camera. Leaker Dylan DKT posted on his Twitter that the upcoming MacBook Pro will actually be getting an updated, improved 1080p webcam, and so will the entire Mac lineup. Now, this is absolutely great combined with the image processing. A solution that is in every Apple Silicon chip, uh, well, as of late, I definitely expect this camera to obliterate every single 1080p camera out there on the market. Of course, especially webcams, but uh, that is going to be insane. And now that it's coming to every single Mac that obviously features a uh, webcam, I can't wait to see this actually happening because the potato webcams that we have in the current MacBook Pros, please, come on. And then we got front page tech talking about the display technology in the new MacBook Pros. Quo, mini LED displays coming to the redesigned MacBook Pro later this year. We have been hearing rumors of the MacBook Pro coming for quite some time. <coughs> WWDC. But all new recent reports seem to be lining up with the last half of this year. Just a few weeks back, we covered a report from DigiTimes stating that Apple plans to announce its redesigned 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pro featuring mini LED displays, an all-new design, and a faster Apple Silicon processor in September of this year. This would suggest the MacBook Pro would release alongside the new iPhones. Now, this is obviously great news. And if you watched the other episode that went live today, 
Uh, we were actually talking about the MacBook Air as well, which is in the same report from Frontpage Tech, talking about in 2022 getting mini LED as well. At the end of this episode, we will have a small card right here where you can click on and go to the previous episode. For now, let's just talk about the iMac. This report coming in from Mac Rumors. German. Larger Apple Silicon iMac on route may feature more powerful M2X chip. I absolutely still believe that a larger redesigned iMac to replace the Intel 27 inch models is on route. Apple increasing the screen size of the smaller model from 21 and a half inches to 24 inches seems to indicate that the 27 inch model could see a size increase as well. I don't think however that Apple will launch the larger model with the same M1 chip that is in the smaller model. It likely will be an M1X chip, the beefier version of the current M1 chip or an M2X chip. Now, if it is going to be that last one, right, the M2X chip, then that means that we're probably not going to see this iMac this year. If it is going to be the M1X chip, there's a high chance that we will see it this year alongside the MacBook Pros. But what I am sure about is that I completely agree with Mark Gurman. I do not expect this larger iMac to include an M1 chip. I mean, that would be ridiculous. Maybe it's going to be an option, like one of the options, but it should include the M1X at a minimum. Uh, and maybe even an M1Z, you don't even know. Like, there is a possibility that there is going to be an M1Z. Nobody knows, and it is going to be even more powerful than the M1X. I just can't wait, I know I'm speculating, and I hope that everyone understands that this is exactly the reason why we have that screen in the beginning of the video, but uh, there's just so many possibilities. I can't wait to see any of these devices, and I'm sure you guys feel similar. If you have any feelings, any thoughts, definitely leave a comment down below. Let's discuss this together. Uh, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, otherwise, we're gonna have to take you in. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Definitely click on this card right here to go to the other episode that went live today. And for now, I hope you guys. 